there's been you guys can see there's so much hate going out around on Facebook and I've been just smiling and keeping my mouth shut for two years because I've been trying to just do the right thing take the high road and eventually that be the high road is no longer um, the right road because I've had sit she's sitting here complaining about her money her livelihood and everything else and everyone's like oh evil man <clears throat> evil man how could you po how could you affect livelihood and that kind of stuff but nobody seemed to care when she destroyed my livelihood and I'm not saying this is revenge or anything like that I'm saying that I don't want my kids on social media it's a toxic place and I don't want I don't want my kids being used as weapons to hurt me and I don't want my you kids be, be, being being used by other bloggers to feed their children it's a it's a very rational like straightforward sort of way of thinking so as I'll remind you <clears throat> she's online complaining that raising a GoFundMe and all these people are out there supporting her being like oh this horrible man's trying to affect your livelihood well that didn't stop her from publishing a book going online while my kids are on her lap to emotionally manipulate you all to well, to to feel sorry for her as she's saying horrible things about their father and go telling them to go um, destroy his business making up fictitious claims to my board to try to get my license taken away I mean I have proof that she said she was going to do this and she did it so to me it's a it's a complete conundrum while why people support a woman doing evil and when a man defends himself he's considered not a man or he's whatever that's that's something that's really wrong with society men need to start speaking up men need to stand up for themselves and staying silent in the corner as a horde of women just beat you up for crimes you never committed um, <clears throat> it really takes a toll on your mental health so I'm fighting back in public because it's the way to regain my mental health, regain control of my life, my self-respect. I can now look in the mirror and respect the man looking back at me. And, I, and that was not the case before because I was sitting there having my entire life destroyed. Um, my reputation, everything that I held, everything I love dear. I will remind you guys that she put out a false restraining order on me. I actually lost custody of my children and I had to spend a hundred thousand dollars, hired the best lawyer I could find to prove her allegations were false. And I did indeed prove that her allegations were false in court, in front of a judge. And I won and I gained custody of my children back. But that did not stop her from perpetuating the lies that she that she said on a restraining order in which I won, which I would prove over and over again that she's lying. She couldn't keep her story straight, and I won my custody of my kids back. So I've been through all of that, won in court, kept my mouth shut, and then those lies were perpetuated on the internet for money for emotional manipulation there is something wrong like this sh <clears throat> like there's something wrong with society where it's just like women are correct and men are the devil okay men matter too my girls love me and I love my girls statistically most prisoners grow up most people that go to prison grow up in a, a, a home without a father Okay? You put your kid up to every statistical disadvantage for not having a father in the home. So, like, I'm, I'm done. Like, I don't care the consequences. Like, if my daughters are being bullied at school, I don't expect them to just sit by for two years and, and let it happen and let it destroy their mental health, their physical, spiritual, mental health. I expect them to fight back. And how can I expect them to fight back and stand up for themselves if I don't do it? So, it's, it's interesting. Am I obsessed with my ex? See, that's what toxic women say to try to discredit solid facts. It's called gaslighting. When you present rational, solid thought with a calm face and a clear demeanor, 
people just people just um, women women mostly men will do this too will just come back with you're jealous you're not a man they'll discredit you and that's called gas lighting okay it's abuse it's abuse <clears throat> so you guys can just keep keep gaslighting me it's fine I know exactly what's true and I know exactly who I am am I perfect no but I am not guilty of the things that she says online so she can raise her money I'll go in there without a lawyer and win just like I've won every single thing else because I follow the rules and I'm taking care of my children it just, it's just not going to work. In fact, she's going to take that money and then she's probably going to... It, it's not going to cost that much money to go to a single hearing. So she's going to pocket that and then go on a vacation. You might call that a scam. So, <clears throat> I don't really care anymore. Truly don't. I'm still going to be making educational content. Anna Luis is coming over here in about an hour and we're going to make some educational content um, <clears throat> I haven't decided on which and that's what I'm trying to figure out now I might do it we might start the sciatica series I'm not sure um, or maybe we'll just do I don't know we'll see if she has something going on go to work I do go to work I charge $300 an hour so I only really need to work maybe three or four hours a day to pay my bills and make a living so you know and that's not a brag it's just like people just don't understand business you know when you're when you charge more money you don't have to work as much that's why I work for myself so yeah I mean throughout the last two years there's been all kinds of lies like I threw my daughter down and she got a concussion and then she went live at the doctor's office trying to make the doctor agree that I gave her a concussion. And the doctor was like, oh, it was a bug bite. You know, constantly interrogating my daughter to try to make it, try to twist her words to, to say something bad about me. And then bloggers carry it. Like, my kids are not going to be on social media. As long as that woman has custody of my children, my kids are not online. And it's going to take, um, it's going to take some time for me to take everything down and it is a lot of work but absolutely my kids are not online you can't use kids as a weapon against their dad I'm not using the kids as a weapon against their mom I'm just simply telling the truth of what I experienced and endured during the marriage and afterwards um, to raise awareness of what's going on on social media these days where people can just make up stories and fabricate stuff I mean, let's talk about the, the her acid attack. I mean, <clears throat> her acid attack, the knife attack. I could, I could see it from a mile away that that was fake. Within ten minutes of it occurring, all of a sudden, all these bloggers are saying that I paid someone to do it. And then her sister slipped yesterday, um, so I'm told by a reliable source, that she has to pay the UK twenty thousand dollars. You don't get attacked, and then have to pay. That means she faked it. Now, whether or not they'll come public or not, we'll see. I'm sure they will because they have to protect tourism. But you don't get attacked with a knife and acid and then have to pay $20,000 for it. <clears throat> Somebody says, remove my, ki my videos of my kids on my profile. Everything that I have on my profile related to my kids is prior to a court order, so there is nothing illegal about it. There's nothing wrong about it. Um, so, you know, the, again, this is gaslighting. This is gaslighting. This is hearing solid, objective facts and then deflecting and making up some excuse and trying to put it back on me on um, something that's wrong with me. So it's cool. Anyways, people say I'm psychotic. People say whatever. It, guys, it, I don't care. Your opinions don't matter to me. Like you do, I don't respect you. Like I just don't. You're out here, like pushing agendas, 
You guys can support someone without trying to destroy others. I mean, why did all of this start? It started because I was not afraid to be on social media, and I, would, and I represented a threat. Because the bigger that I got, um, she knew I'd have a bigger voice to tell the truth. So therefore, what do narcissists have to do when you're afraid of somebody telling the truth about your character? They have to discredit you. And that's what happened. For two years, I was being ridiculed, harassed. There's like all this stuff. Just so that if I ever did speak, that I wouldn't be believed. Well, that's, that, that smear campaign was very effective. But what I have on my side is the truth and evidence. So I can prove every single thing I said. People are ready to testify. I can prove it all. In fact, I cleared it all with a lawyer prior to saying it. Because I'm smart. So, yes, I'm jealous. I'm shameless. I am whatever you say I am. And if I wasn't, why would I say I am? That's Eminem. <clears throat> so, I am a healthcare professional, I am an extremely professional individual, and I take my career very seriously. And after two years of harassment, I have decided I have a moral, ethical, and um, honor-bound duty to set the record straight and start, and start telling the truth, because this will happen to somebody else if I don't. If I just sit by and let this woman destroy my life without speaking up for myself, and proving the lies, then it will motivate other women to do it to other good, wholesome fathers, other stellar husbands for money, for sympathy. Um, and and that's, that's just something wrong. I mean, thank God Johnny Depp did what he did um, to, to, <clears throat> to, to point out this kind of behavior. I'm much more innocent than Johnny Depp was. I think. I think. That, but in, in a toxic relation, in a toxic relationship that you stay in, nobody's innocent. That's what happens when you're in a toxic relationship. There's a back and forth. There are, and and I did participate in that, because I was, you know, after a while you get beat down and you snap. Not that I ever abused her, but I did say some choice words, in response to abuse. That's called reactive abuse, for those of you that want to learn something so I'm sick no I don't have a cold I take plenty of vitamin C I'm not sick miraculously I, I haven't really got sick hardly at all through this whole process you know it's you know what's interesting on here this is a pet peeve of mine is that people use God to justify their opinion like have you guys not been to church? Have you not, have you not read a Bible? Using God's name in vain is a sin, right? That's what the Bible says. So if you're using God to justify your opinion and then talking about generational curses and all this stuff, you're a sinner. You're going to hell. That's the Bible, not my opinion. So I don't know what it is that people think that you can use God to justify your opinion. But that is a sin. Read the Bible.